Today I will be showing you how to quickly remove color fringe from an image. Fringe is usually caused by chromatic aberrations and are usually seen in high contrast areas. Fringing is either purple or green in color. Raw Power has great tools for removing color fringes and they're easy to use. I will be showing this on the Mac, but it works exactly the same on iOS. The iOS version of Raw Power has all of the same editing power and flexibility as the Mac version. In this first picture, fringing appears between the branches of the tree. I'll zoom in so you can see better. It happens because of the strong contrast between the tree branches and the white sky. To remove the purple, open the chromatic aberration adjustment in raw power. It may be in your list already, or you can pick it from the add adjustment menu. Then, just drag the amount slider, in this case, the purple amount slider and you'll see the fringing start to go away. You may need to also move the hue range slider. There, that got rid of all of it. Now we can see it before and after. That's a big difference. I'm gonna jump now to another image. As I mentioned, fringing can be either purple or green. In this image, the fringing is green. So again, I'll pick the chromatic aberration adjustment and I'm gonna move the green fringe. And again, maybe a little bit of the hue range. And it's gone, just like that. Now I'll show you an image with the most severe fringing I have ever seen. It was so bad I had to rewrite the fringing algorithm just to deal with it. I'll zoom in so you can get a better look. Wow, the fringing is absolutely everywhere. It's in the chair, it's in the stairs, it's here, it's here, it's down here, it is everywhere. But raw power can even remove fringing this bad. Pick the adjustment and move the purple fringe slider. So it's already gone, that's great. But when you have fringing this severe all over the image, it's important to check different regions of the image to make sure you didn't introduce any artifacts or unwanted changes to the image. So we'll go down here where we saw all the way in this foreground area with the grass. We're going to notice while the fringing is gone down here, right here under the trailer, it looks like we've lost some of the blue. If you turn the adjustment on and off, you can see the difference. One solution would be to back off the amount slider. But if we do that, we're going to get the fringe back. We don't want that. We know we got the hue range slider. We can try moving that. But that actually makes the situation worse. So instead, let's try decreasing the heat range. You can see right there how that blue comes back. The blue comes back, but we have not introduced the fringing because we tightened the range of colors that were being affected. So now you can see it before and after. I asked the photographer about this image and he said he has tried many apps to remove the fringing on this image and has never been able to. Well, not until now. Raw Power for iOS has a built-in free trial. On the Mac, you can download a trial app on the gentlemancoders.com website. So that was a quick look at removing color fringing in images using Raw Power. See you next time.